We had a bit of a rough night last night because a tornado went through about three miles from here. Ellie spent a little bit of time hiding in the bathtub. Anyway, we're okay, but a couple of people on the edge of town, they're not quite so fortunate. Well, look how sunny it is now. We're going to do another poem from my Poems from Home series to celebrate National Poetry Month. It's from my first book, The Follower's Tale, and it is called Desert Blessing. I see this calliope hummingbird as nostalgia for a place we visited only once and promised our whole lives to return to. Its wings quicken the year. The blooming desert around us will soon dry up too fast, but the 80 times a second beating of those wings will never flood over the dams of my deaf ears. The bird, no bigger than your thumb, shakes raindrops off the pink flowers of the ironwood branches we stand under, umbrella closed. I know what a hurt sounds like. The splashing from the hummingbird's wing on your nose and forehead, it's the only thing left now I need to hear. Your face, looking up, sprinkled with this desert's holy water. The salmon pole I want to recommend is Sandra Ann Winters. She has a brand new book out called Do Not Touch. Check it out, salmonpoetry.com. And we'll see you tomorrow.